Compute the probability of randomly drawing five cards from a deck and getting exactly one ace. So, if we're doing the probability of getting exactly one ace, we need to count the number of ways that we could get exactly one ace. And I keep emphasizing exactly because that's important. We'll come back to that. So the number of ways of getting exactly one ace divided by the number of ways that we could pick five cards, the number of total possibilities for what hand we could get. Let's start with the denominator because it's a little bit easier. The number of ways of picking five cards, that's nothing more than a combination problem because we're picking and we don't care what order we get them in, we just care about which ones we got. So we're picking five cards out of a pool of 52. So we want 52 NCR5. On the calculator we type in 52, go to the math probability menu, select NCR5, and there are a total of 2,598,960 five card hands that you can pick. About two and a half million unique possibilities for what your hand could look like. Now let's look at the numerator. This is a little bit more tricky. The number of ways of getting exactly one ace. Well, if we get exactly one ace, that means we get an ace, and we get four cards that are not aces. So let's think about each of these separately. The number of ways of getting an ace when we draw a card. Well, there are four aces to choose from, and we're selecting one of them. Then, the number of ways to select a card that isn't an ace, well, we're still choosing cards. Order doesn't matter. But now, we're choosing from cards that are not aces. So that means there are 48 cards that we're choosing from, and we want to pick four of them, because we want one ace, and we want four cards that are not aces. So we first pick our ace from the pool of four aces, and then we pick the other four cards from the pool of 48 non-aces. So there are four C1 ways of picking an ace, and there are 48 C4 ways of picking four cards that are all not aces. So if we multiply these two together, we'll have the number of ways of selecting one ace and four non-aces, or the number of ways of selecting exactly one ace. So we calculate 4C1 and 48C4 and multiply them together. On the calculator, we type in 4, math, probability, NCR1, and 48, math, probability, NCR4. So 4C1 is 4, and 48C4 is 194,580. If we multiply those two together, we get 778,320. So the probability of drawing five cards and getting exactly one ace is the 778,320 divided by the number of ways of selecting five cards, which is over 2.5 million. As a decimal, that number is about 0.3. So if you randomly pick five cards, there's close to a 30% chance that you'll get exactly one ace in your hand.